So today we got something really special. This is an old Cobra 29 Plus. This radio came into my possession from a co-worker. His uh, father passed away a few years ago and was a big ham guy, an old um, electronics engineer. Uh, had a long, distinguished career with the uh, uh, state of Georgia and also was an engineer, I, th I believe, at Lockheed for a while. And a big ham guy in his off time. And he had purchased this radio, I believe, back around sometime in the late 80s and it just sat there in this box and he never used it so um, when I got it uh, I wouldn't transmit or receive and that just ended up being a VCO adjustment you know sitting there for 30 plus years on a shelf in a basement it happens and I got it uh, got it transmit and receiving and it sounded great uh, but it does you know have the original electrolytic capacitors in, in it so I'm going to Go ahead and uh, change those out today since I've been kind of on a electrolytic capacitor um, spree this weekend and, and dealing with a lot of uh, radios that I've got that I've needed to uh, uh, do that on. So I figured we'd uh, open this up out of the box and take a look at it. I, I think the original uh, purchase paperwork is still here. So uh, let, me, uh, let me get this thing opened up and I'll show you what we got. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back and look at that beauty. Wow, let's put this up on a on stand here so you can see it. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? Brand new, out of the box. Look at this. Just a beauty. Not a scratch on this thing. All right, so... Here's all of our original paperwork. So we'll start with this handwritten note. See, look at that. Cobra CB check with dummy antenna. We got RF 4 to 6 watts, modulation 70%, SWR flat with real antenna. Uh, RF 4 to 6 watts, modulation 70%, SWR 1.2. How often do you see that when you get a radio sold? And we've got the original bill of sale here. So he paid $124.77 for this on November 9th, 1987. Wow, that is cool. And then we've got some, looks like some rules. Our CB band. We've got the original manual here. Um, what else do we have? More CB rules. I mean, look, they even listed the FAR there. Part 95, subpart D. Um, okay, so what else do we have? We've got, um, what is this? Looks like a maybe dealer. Yeah, look at that. This is a, what is this? This is Cobra Consumer Products Group, Dynascan Corporation. Contact the service station either by mail or by phone. Look at all the places you could get a CB repaired back in 1987. Look at that. Look at all of them. Wow. And I'm sure that 99.9% .9 of these people are gone. And there's only a few of us left. That is so crazy. And then what do we have here? Oh, this is cool. Bill of material for the Cobra 29 Plus. Look at this. It's a complete parts breakdown. Oh. And a schematic. Wow. What a piece of history right here. This is really cool. That is really cool. All right. Well, let me, uh, let me get this thing fired up. Um, of course, it had the original mic in the box. Uh, I guess we can pull that out. Right, I'll pull the original mic out, and uh, we'll get some power on this thing and see what it looks like. All right, I'll be back. All right, so here she is powered up. I cannot find the original mic. I don't know where that went to. I had it out of the box once. Like I said, I did a BCO adjustment and got her transmit and receiving. 
and can't find the mic. I didn't stick it back in the box. That was uh, silly of me. And so I'm sure it's somewhere in my drawer of mics over here, somewhere in there. Well, anyway, she is receiving. Um, let's see. Let's stick her up on channel 19. Let's see if we can... Uh, Let's see if we can get her to transmit still. Let's see. Okay, so now she's into a dummy load. And let's give her a shot. Let's see if she's got any power out still. Look over there at this average watt meter. Check one, two, check one, two. Oh. Check, 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 check one, two. All right, so she has got no power out. Let's put her into here. Okay, what do we got this set for? All right, so we got it set for ch channel 19. We'll stick a tone into her. We'll stick a 30 millivolt, one kilohertz tone into here. And see if we got anything on the 8920. Nope. No power at all. Okay. What about if we go to, let's see if we go to channel 40. Will she give us anything there? Nope, no power. All right, what about channel one? Oh, there we go, 13.4 13, 13 watts of peak power on channel one okay so she has got another vco issue i'm sure she's just not an adjustment um we'll go ahead and crack this open and see if we can figure out and get her to transmit on both or across the band all 40 channels again and then look at doing a cap job for her. so uh we'll be back all right so we're back and look at this just original all original Cobra 29 Plus from 1987. This thing has not had a darn thing done to it. Look at this. What a beauty. All right, so our issue again was, like I thought, just a VCO issue, just out of adjustment. So got the old service manual out for the Cobra 29 Plus and just made a quick adjustment. And now we are keying across all 40 channels. And I've got a mic in her and listen to her on the monitor radio. Hello, check, 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 one, two, one, two. That sounds good. Let's go up to uh, 40, where we weren't keying before. Hello, check, check, check. Oh, how about if I put my monitor radio on 40? That might help. There we go. Hello, check, 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 one, two, check, one, two. And what about where well, we are now? Channel one works. Okay, well, we'll do it anyway. Channel one. Hello, Hello check, check, one, two, one, two. That's a good sound on radio. Hello, one, two. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, so as she sits, let's put her back into here. And we are set up for channel 19 there. So we're going to bring this up channel 19 let's just look at her power again uh, we're just doing some basic checks on her that's all just see what kind of condition she's in okay so we're going to key on channel 19 look what kind of power we got um so we got 13 and a half peak watts not bad she's pretty close to being on frequency AM depth is showing 87%, one kilohertz tone. Uh, let's look at her on spectrum analyzer and see what she looks like. We gotta get this set up here. Uh, 0 .05. So we're gonna go five channels wide, 50 kilohertz. Let's key her and see what she looks like. She looks pretty clean. Let's take that down to three channels. There's our three channels. Yeah, she looks clean. All right, let's look at that modulation on a uh, spectrum analyzer and see what we see. 
All right, one kilohertz tone. Oh, so we probably got a little bit of room for improvement there, but this not a bad looking waveform at all. Not at all. So she's in good shape as far as transmitting. And we haven't even done a cap job yet. So let's look at uh, receive. Uh, just for the sake of simplicity, since it's right in front of us, we'll stick her back in here. And we're on channel 19. Oh, no, we're not. 27.1850 megahertz. And we are receiving. Yeah, we just had to make some changes here on the bench. All right, so she's receiving. She's got an S9, which is what I'm putting into her, minus 67 dB. Uh, let's go ahead and put her at... Um, uh, let me uh, let me come back in a second. I'll set up for a sign at test. Okay, we're back. We're still at uh, minus 67 dB. And look at that, of course, we've got... We're maxed out on uh, Synad. We're at 35 dB. Let's go ahead and go to one microvolt and see what she looks like there. Oh, that's actually not bad. For a radio that's been sitting in a basement for 30, 35 years, she's still teetering at 15 dB of Synad at one microvolt. That is not bad. How about uh, minus 110? Oh, there she is. Just holding on to about 11 dB at uh, minus 110 dB. So not bad. That's respectable. I mean, she still meets industry standard at one microvolt. Can't complain about that. All right. Well, I guess the next step then will be to just go ahead and give this a, a nice recap job and uh, see how she turns out after the fact. But just beautiful radio. You just don't see anything in this kind of condition anymore. Beautiful. Definitely consider this new old stock. All the digits work. Wow. What a pretty radio. All right. We'll be back when we're ready to set up for some uh, cap replacements. All right, so we got the skip rolling in over here on channel 38 on the old President 8R 144. And uh, let me turn that down a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and uh, start our cap job. We got the, the old trusty Weller already warmed up. We got the Haku desoldering station ready. And we're going to get to it. So when we get back, we should be finished. All right, so we're back. We still got our skip going on in the background with our monitor radio. And she is completely recapped from top to bottom. Let me turn that radio down. Okay. Completely recapped from top to bottom. And it was a pleasure to do it. I think I was the first hands to touch this PCB since it left the factory. If I had to guess, well, other than the shop alignment when they sold it. But she's completely recapped now. Here's all of our pile of old electrolytics. And we're going to shut off our iron. And we are going to get some power on her and uh, see what smokes. So we'll be back. And I might go ahead and just align the receive section, look at the transmit section again, and then uh, I'll show you the results after. All right, we'll be back. All right, we're back. So I took her back through her paces, and I ended up with about the same Synad reading at one microvolt that I started with. It's about 14, 15 dB of Synad. So that really didn't change. That was as much as I could muster out of her. And she still transmits just fine. Modulation is good. I'm not going to bore you with anything other than just, uh, well, what can we do? Let's just go through some, let's just look at her on a scope. How about that? We'll look at her on our scope one time. Uh, we'll give her some modulation here. One kilohertz tone at 30 millivolts peak to peak and we'll key her up and we'll look at her up here nice waveform she's running about 90 percent modulation right now which i'm fine with because it sounds great on the air uh, let's look at her on a spectrum analyzer we'll just use 
we'll use this one here. Easier to hook up to. All right, so let's go to Spectrum Analyzer and how, how wide are we? Let's go ahead and set it back up for what we need it for. All right, so we're gonna go five channels wide again. Key her up. All right, there's with our modulation. Here is no modulation, so she still looks nice and clean. Let's step it down to three channels wide. Still looks really, really clean. Yep. And let's see, let's go back to receive. And we'll see. I'm still hooked up. Oh, well, there you go, right there. We were at 107 dB, minus 107 dB, one microvolt, and she is teetering about uh, 14 dB. The Synad at one microvolt. That's about as good as I can get it. But, hey, industry standard. Nothing wrong with that for a 35-year-old radio. All right, let's... Uh, Let's turn that off and let's just listen to her. Let's pull her out of here, get her back into a different dummy load here. And we'll just give her a listen. All right, we've got a mic back into her. We're on channel 19 now. We'll take our monitor radio over there and hear what she sounds like. Check, check, check. One, two, check, one, two. Still sounding good there. Let's go back down to channel one. Make sure our VCO circuit is still doing what it's supposed to do. Monitor radio on channel one. Hello, check, 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 one, two. All right, let's go to 40. And this will be it. Hello, check, 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 one, two, audio, one, two, nice sounding modulation. Uh, how about just one look over here while she's modulating. Hello, check, 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 one, two, one, two. No flat tops. Yeah, she came out all right. All right, let me just get her buttoned up and give my final thoughts, and uh, that'll be it. We'll be back. So, what to say about this radio? I'll tell you what, I felt bad just touching the cover. She's just so pretty. I noticed, uh, turn that volume down. I noticed I put a couple of dirt scuffs on the covers when I was working on the bench with it. And, geez, I felt bad. I mean, she is just beautiful. She really is. Just a beautiful radio. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I can't tell you how appreciative I am to have something like this. It's just, it's a joy to work on. It's a joy to use. Um, I'm just really happy I have it. So, thanks to Bernie to uh, being kind enough to think of me when he saw this radio in his dad's basement. Because, yes, she has a good home, and it's going to stay that way. She'll be with me the rest of my life, for sure. So, uh, that's about it. Um, she's recapped. She's ready for another 20 or 30 years, hopefully. And um, that's it. 73's everybody out there. Happy DXing.